World stock markets under selling pressure this Monday and could gold benefit from that sharp sell-off we saw in the Chinese stock market. Joining us today is Frank Holmes of U.S. Global Investors. Frank, thanks so much for joining us. Good to be here. So we're going to pull up that gold chart today. Gold trying to find some safe haven support as China's stock market experienced its biggest one-day drop since 2007. How do you see the metal set up? Well, I think the metal is, is the classic always have some type of insurance. Uh, there's something in the world that's happening, and I think when global PMIs start to unravel, which we've talked about on your show many, many times, uh, when the one month falls below the three months, we've seen this contagion happen with all commodities. The Bloomberg Commodity Index make an all-time low. I think there's something negative on the marketplace. And further to that, all this talk about rates going to rise, it's bizarre because a 10-year government bond is making a new low. Uh, and it's lower than a year ago, and it's lower than two years ago. So I think there's something negative around the world. In addition to what's taking place in China is for commodities. I think the Greece uh, event is very negative. So for our funds, we have more than ample cash looking for opportunities where they find a trough and a bottom. What about options expiration taking place tomorrow? Could that weigh on the metal? I don't know. You know, Danielle, there's just so much manipulation. It appears it appears there's two things that happened last week. Either someone knew that the flash PMI of China was going to be negative and they hit the market a week ago and it seemed to be synchronized. At first, it was coming out of China. In fact, it came out of New York. Just the sheer notional value of that gold. The Japanese were, had, were on a holiday, so they weren't in the capital markets. So this event is either someone front running or someone trying to manipulate the price against an already building short position. And now it appears to be a crowded trade of excessive shorting in gold. And we're due for a big rally because everybody I talk to in the normal media that would call in the marketplace, they are just negative, negative on gold. Because they want you to hate gold, Frank, right? But let's look at those mining stocks now, now at eight year lows. You also say that mining acquisitions could see a boost from lower metal prices. We saw some activity in the sector this morning as First Majestic announced today the acquisition of Silvercrest. Is it time to get back into those mining stocks? Well, I think we're getting, we need a turn in gold. The, the, the gold stocks really are uh, highly coordinated and, and uh, highly correlated with the price of gold. And when that price of gold turns with a 10-day high, there'll be massive gold short covering, and I think that you'll see the gold stocks make their run. And yes, there's going to be a lot of divestors. We've seen American uh, companies, we're seeing uh, Barrick Gold has been divesting, we're seeing some North American companies buy them. Now Anglo is going to go through a massive amount of selling of their assets and restructuring their company. Frank, you mentioned we could see a rally. Could it happen this week? It could happen this week. I don't know what the stress level is going to be on economic data, but clearly there's something wrong with the capital markets because the way they're, on, they're selling off with the bond yields, like I mentioned earlier on the 10-year, making 10-day lows, when all of the talking heads are talking about rates rising. I don't see anything for them to, to go higher with. All right, Frank, finally, what's your touchdown pass going to be this week? We'll follow what the, uh, the, the government has to say, the Fed notes coming out, and the Fed meetings, and we're going to have GDP numbers. I think it's a combination uh, as a rational reason to drop interest rates. Now, the U.S. has the highest real rates of return right now. If those rates drop, then you're going to start to see gold take off in dollar terms. Good thoughts from you today, Frank. Thanks so much for joining us. Good to be here. And thank you for watching this edition of Gold Game Film. We'll see you tomorrow.